Is it just me or is it dark in here like my heart? Actually, it's not dark, is it? I've got all the lights on. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time. I'm sorry. Uh, there's a reason for that. But today, I'm going to record a couple of videos. The first one is going to be the very first Chilling Rains Elite Trainer Box. Um, I'm going to do the Shadow Calyrex opening today. And uh, let's see what kind of Pokemon cards we get this time. Uh, this one will include eight Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield expansion packs. Um, what I have noticed since I've been doing these openings, Shining Fates is the only ETB that had 10 of the um, uh, booster packs, but everything else like uh, the battle styles and, and chilling rain are only having eight you got 65 card sleeves featuring ice rider calyrex or shadow rider calyrex which was the one that we're going to do today that you could see that right over here 45 pokemon tcg energy cards a player's guide to the sword and shield chilling rain expansion pack a pokemon tcg rule book six damage counter dice one competent <laughs> One competition legal coin flip die, two acrylic condition markers, a collector's box to hold everything with four dividers to keep it organized, and a code card for the Pokemon TCG online. Here we go. Let's let's open this up. All right. Uh, since this this is the way it came. Look at this. <laughs> a little bit of damage there. So if I was trying to keep this minty fresh, wasn't gonna happen anyway. But I do enjoy this color look at that color just that dark purple uh this is a little bit different than the other uh etb packs that i've been opening up this one is not textured it's just a flat uh type of printing which is okay because i think this is what they were starting to print heavily once uh the whole uh pandemic thing started to die down and whatnot so they were just trying to get these out there so here we go oh here is the player's guide. Let's do the player's guide, shall we? And see what kind of Pokemons that we can get. There is the Ice Rider Calyrex. <laughs> and that was in the Crown Tundra. These are some of the VMAX and the Vs that you can get. Uh, this is the alternate, uh, there are alternate for, uh, alternate arts is what I'm trying to say. So you got the regular V right there. You got the VMAX, you got the Celebi, Celebi VMAX, Volcarona. Um, but I don't think these are showing you right now the alternate artworks. That is something I am going to be going for with these two ETBs. The first one being the Shadow Calyrex. This Rapid Dash, we did open that up in the Rapid Dash V Max, uh, no, V box. That's the only way you can get the, this actual card. Uh, it was printed in Japan, uh, it, it came out in Japan in a different booster expansion pack basically but we only were able here in the states to get it uh, out of that boost of uh, that box set so here we go uh there is my favorite rat liar right there zara aura right there you should see him my favorite electric legendary type uh we've got some trainers right here brawly and uh avery okay and a couple others clara karen's conviction Okay, this is a little precursor right here. This is the card that I am going to be searching for. Um, as you can see here, these are all the cards that are going to be in this expansion pack. This is a hefty size expansion. And with the, um, oh, here we go. There's the Galarian Shadow, uh, I'm sorry, Shadow Rider Calyrex V and the Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max. Okay. But uh, as of September, I believe September 20th is going to be when a lot of these cards rotate out. So not these right here in particular. These will be still available for, for the next year. Um, but some of the cards that were from the original Sword and Shield, those are going to be phased out. You can't play them in uh, tournament leagues anymore. So here, this is what I was talking about. This is the alternate art form for Blaziken and Volcarona. And there's the Ice Rider Calyrex V and the uh, Cali Ice Rider Calyrex V. That is the alternate right there. That looks dope. I mean, any of these type of alternate art artworks. Oh, look at that Zara Aura. These two right there. Okay, 
me personally, besides the Snorlax that I, I, I was showing you, I want these. I want Zero Aura. And there's the alternate form of uh, Calyrex Shadow Rider. There's a Galarian Ponita. Uh, why do I keep saying Ponita? It's Rapid Dash. We should know that. We should know that. There's the uh, Zapdos alternate uh, artwork, alternate artwork for Articuno, alternate art form of Moltres right there. And there's the Glarian Slowpoke, Slow King. There's too many Pokemon. Too many Pokemon. And there's your rainbows, all that good stuff. Oh, look at that. Maybe that's the alternate. Maybe that's the alternate art form of that. And here's all the full art trainer cards. Any of those are cool. I, I, I like the full arts myself. Uh, the rainbows are, yeah. Uh, they're okay. <laughs> That's what I want right there. The gold card of Snorlax. It kind of even looks like it's the shiny form too with the darker blue color. There's also Voltorb, Bron Bronzong, and a couple of the other um, items that you can use, the, the, uh, the trainer items and what have you. Uh, speaking of rainbow, okay. I've been recently playing, and, and, and you know, don't hate me on this, but I've been recently playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch. And for the life of me, every single Rainbow Road type of, um, you know, racetrack, I hate. I, I, it's, maybe, maybe it's the colors or something like that, but I just, I can't concentrate like that. So here you go. There's your box and here is a uh, trainer's guide on how to play the game as per usual of all them oh wait what's this over here Did I, yeah so these are some of the new uh packs that you can get over at target and walmart and what have you i've seen them around and um just like uh i think i did open one i forgot which one i opened but it's basically a set and a complete starter of you can use that entire deck as in a tournament. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Here are the die. Look at that. Oh, those are beautiful. Purple. Of course, purple is one of my favorite colors. So there's your uh, condition markers. Uh, and there is the code card. Tada doom bada bing. All right, and oh, look at that. Look at that. Beep, beep. These are the sleeves, very nice. Oh God, I love that color. And we've got the energy pack right there. That's a lot of energy. I'm wondering, I've never actually opened these, so I'm not sure if the if there's special energies or not. Let me know in the comments below if, they, if there are. Um, here's some of the dividers, there we go. And yep, the dark purple, very, very nice. Okay. And I think that's it, except for here are the cards. So you've got uh, Zapdos, Moltres, Articuno, Shadow Rider, Ice Rider, Zapdos, Articuno, Shadow Rider. Okay, let's divvy these out so I know which ones I have dupes of. Here's my dupes. Okay, so we got only one of those and one of those. Two of those, two of those, two of those. So let's go one, 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 and then like Okay, all right, let's get the show on the road. As I'm recording this, this is the eve of Pokemon Go Fest. So, uh, but yeah, I, 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 I know I've been falling behind as far as filming goes, and it's because I had to take some time off, I ended up getting sick. I ran into another flight attendant who, uh, actually got diagnosed with the big V. So she informed me, oh man, look at the bend on that card right there. Dang it. Uh, she informed me because uh, we had gotten close um, in our passings in the airport and what have you. And she said, hey, you might want to get tested. Two days later, I was just about to start a four day trip. There's a reverse hollow Doug trio and a holographic Beedrill single strike. Very nice, very nice. Anyway, I was about to start a four day trip. I was not feeling good. So unfortunately, I hated to do this, but I ended up having to call out uh, while I was at the airport, while I was looking at all the, all the uh, passengers. And 
they had to wait around a little bit longer to find a replacement for me. That day, I ended up getting um, the, uh, the the test and was negative, ended up with a big old stomach flu, which lasted about three days. And there you go, Zangoose is the rare. And so I had been at home, uh, I was on administration leave basically. So I had to stay at home and I was trying to eat solid foods uh, every once in a while, but I still was sticking with the smoothies, the fruit smoothies that I've been uh, making here at home just because I think it might also have been like I, j oh, I did that wrong okay there you go that's the that's the rare I'm losing oh wah, wah, wah. this is one of those uh, card openings that I did it wrong again good job for fro <laughs> there you go for fro um, this is this does not evolve uh, when we get it in Pokemon Go, but it does have different styles. Uh, you can check out my video, maybe up here in the link, uh, a link up here, it, just to see what kind of variations of Furfro we're gonna get. But there you go, Sveal, Crab, Roller, Golette. Oh, that's a nice Golette. I like that one. And a Zeb Striker Reverse Hollow. Sweet. So yeah, uh, I've been implementing food uh, back into my gullet, if you will. And today, I actually, um, I had a stand-up this, this morning, so last night slash this morning. And I made myself a uh, baked gochujang chicken. If you don't know what that is, gochujang is the type of chili paste that is used in Korean food. You can make it with, uh, you can make bibimbap, uh, I mean there's so many things, it, even the um, uh, chigays and all that good stuff. Anyway, so I decided to marinate some chicken thighs for, there you go, reverse hollow uh, weevil and a malmar. And I marinated it for 48 hours and I cooked that up today. Who doggy! If there's a picture or video, uh, I'm sure I probably either introduce this video with it or it's going to be up right here. But it was delicious. It was delicious. And I actually was able to hold that down. So that's kind of cool. But being that this is the eve of, what do you call it, uh, Go Fest, I, I'm filming this, th these videos, these next two videos are gonna come out after Go Fest. So I'm, I'm here thinking to myself, what shinies am I gonna get? I really wanna get that shiny throw and the shiny sock and all that. But, oh, there's Kecleon. Speaking of Kecleon, yo, so check this out. Um, there is rumors that there is uh, another Pokemon that's supposed to quote unquote debut in GoFest, which was uh, going to be Hoopa, which is another mythical if I believe, uh, if, I, if I remember correctly. But at any rate, it's gonna be one of those, if you actually do see it, you can tap on it and you won't be able to catch it. Apparently, Kecleon is the same thing. This is a Gen 3 Pokemon that we do not have in Pokemon Go. And yet, you can, you can catch him in the wild, or you can spot it in the wild. You can click on it, but you can't catch it. Why does Niantic do that? You know, I mean, there was that one time that my buddy uh, True Moxie and I, we ended up getting a, uh, we, we found a, an Azelf in the wild. It was, I mean, very, very rare spawn, but you can click on it and catch it, you know? It took a, many Pokeballs to catch that and go, uh, not, in Pokemon Go, not Go Fest. And, but, you know, why would they do that with Kecleon? Look at the, look at the bad whiting on the card here. Okay, I don't know, she, you see that? They're in there too. Okay, so the print job, they were rushing the prints, so. Anyway, here we go, we've got the Fire, Haunter, Celio, Mel Melanie, Melanie, okay. D Diglett, there's that gold out again. That is such a cool card. It looks like he's actually kind of lifting up a uh, an Onyx or something like that. Deerling, Sneasel, Glaring Farfetch'd, Reverse Hollow of Krillia, and a Hollow of Thundress. Don't want to see that one again in uh, any raids, but I guess we are in, on Sunday. Which also reminds me, I'm as of this recording, I'm not attending Sunday because I can't find anyone to pick up my Sunday shift. 
So I will be doing GoFest for one day only. Yay! I'm hoping to put the. I'm hoping to Arceus that <laughs> someone will pick that up. Caitlin, Kakuna, Path to the Peak, Sable, Inke, Scovet, showing his Butox, and Score Bunny. Oh, that's so cool. Diglett, Reverse Hollow, Farfetched, and the rare is Golurk. Okay, not good pulls because I've only got one pack left. I heard these ETBs are not that good as far as pulls go. Uh, people are getting better pulls with the either the single packs or the trio packs that you can get at your local stores, Walmart, Target, you know, your local game, card game store or whatever. Let's hope that we get something. Honey, Impact Energy, Pat the Peak, Larvesta, Mareep, Heracross, Clobblepuss, Grookey, Reverse Hollow, a Scroll of Piercing, and a Hollow of Frostlass. That was not a great opening, but hey, that's what we gotta do. If you like this video, go ahead and smack that like button, click subscribe, go ahead and click that notification bell, let you know I came out with another video for y'all. Bye.